Mon Mon and welcome back to my channel. This is Brian and she just is soaking because she hasn't had enough attention today apparently. I have been a pinup for several years and that means that my wardrobe has flourished into the dream wardrobe I always wanted growing up. But that also means that I have seen my fair share of super budget pinup and also super expensive pinup and then the true vintage on its own level. I often get asked what are some great budget brands to sort of get started and today I thought I would review two of those brands for you which are A-Size and Musol. I really hope I'm saying both of them correctly. Now both of these brands are budget which means that you can get quite a lot of bang for your buck but there's always that question of what do you actually get? Is it better to spend $30 for a dress or is it better to spend $300 for a dress? Trust me I've seen some crazy pinup prices. I was lucky enough to collab with both of these brands and I have separate reviews on each brand in my blog which I have my brand link in the description box below so if you want to see each piece in a little bit more detail you can go to whichever brand that was in the description box below. Let's get started. Right so let's start with Musol. These are the dresses that I received and as you can see I somehow ended up in the same sort of shade palette. Let's start with this one. This is M8211R in Peacock Blue and it is a size medium. This dress was so comfortable to wear. I am a huge fan of the necktie. I added this brooch just to sort of glam it up a little bit. We have pockets, so God bless Musol and their love of snack holes. The dress is around knee length, which is great for its size, and there's plenty of room to put a petticoat and flare it out a little bit more. The dress is not lined, but it is super comfortable so that's a plus for me. So ordering the size medium I didn't realize quite how stretchy the fabric, look at that, so much stretch. So because of that amount of stretch I could have gone down to a size small. For $43 I think this is a great way to start a pinup wardrobe. Each item comes in a multitude of different colors so if this sort of shade isn't your thing you can go for a whole range whether you want something a bit more basic or a little bit more bright. I am happy with this choice in this style. I thought this was absolutely beautiful and it's probably one of my favourites out of this whole bunch. The second dress we received from New Soul is this lovely little lace number. This is dress M8240R in dark green. I found the dress a little bit too short for my liking and it doesn't make me feel very pinna, but I think in warmer months it will be a little bit more comfortable than in the cooler months because I like to have my legs covered. I found the fit quite flattering and I was a fan of having the V design at the back. This dress also retails for $42.99 which is once again a pretty good price. It does come in a multitude of colours and I think all of the dresses from Musol go from a small to about an extra extra large so there is plenty of room for everybody to grab something. Lastly, from Musil, we have this rather bright dress. Now, I've lost the tag and don't know exactly what code this is, but this is the Women's Business Slim Style Ruffle Work Pencil Dress in Acid Blue. I was a huge fan of the top bodice detailing. I love the crisscross. I like how it sat around the collar. I liked the little peephole it made. I just liked the placement of it. It wasn't right on the cleavage which a lot of companies do. The fabric is quite stretchy, it has a little bit of a crepe like feel but I found it quite figure hiding and flattering and the colour itself was just so vibrant and bold. I loved walking around with it. The length was absolutely perfect, it reached my knees. It doesn't have pockets but it does have an invisible back zip. Now out of all the musel dresses this one retails for $33.99 which makes it the most budget friendly. I was quite a fan of this lovely little dress. Alrighty, moving on to eye size. A size, E size. These are the dresses that we got and yes, there are no green tones, but we do have a blue, but that's okay, it's beautiful. Let's start with this one. This is A9324 in burgundy. It features a really beautiful gathered bust design with a triangle under bust 
bodice bottom. I am probably describing this. Is this even in English? I don't even know. It, it's just words. It's just words. We have puff sleeves, which were really flattering. I love sleeves. I think sleeves can make or break a dress. And sometimes I have bought a dress just because I love the sleeves so much. It has a lovely V cutout, which isn't too low once again. So they really thought that through. The skirt itself is just a plain wiggle skirt with some pleating. The dress is not lined, it doesn't have pockets, but it does have an invisible zip right at the back. This dress retails for $31.99 and it comes in a range of colours and sizes. I think this is so beautiful and so flattering. I am a huge fan of this burgundy wine colour and I'm excited to wear this as a top and as a dress. I love popping a skirt over the top of a wiggle dress and you just have a couple more outfits out of one simple garment, which is always a plus for me. The next dress from I Size is this. Oh, it's so pretty. This is A9137 in navy blue. This dress has a really wonderful gold collar. It wraps all the way around, meaning that the zip is actually on the side, so you don't get a break in the collar. The bow is really beautiful and thick, although it does flop around a little bit when you walk. I didn't have too much problems when it was on me. She features some really beautiful puff sleeves with some gold ribboning at the bottom. And she has a really beautiful wiggle skirt which reaches the knees. It is the perfect pin-up length. The dress isn't lined, but that's okay, and it only costs $34.99, which is a really good price for a pin-up party dress. The last dress we have from A Size is this one. And it is hands down my favorite out of all the dresses I've shown you today. This is dress A9153 in beige. This dress has a really beautiful sweetheart neckline. It has puffed sleeves, which aren't too long, so they're rather really, they're really, really comfortable. We have a couple of fake buttons down the front. This doesn't actually open up at the front. It is all stitched shut. And then it has these wonderful peplum petals, which are sewn down really well. I think that is so flattering, especially for those like me with endo belly. It just sort of hides any sort of bloating or bulging, which is always a good. I love the length as well as it reaches the knees. It is not lined. It has an invisible back zipper and no pockets. Like all the other dresses, I bought the medium and this is the only one I wish I sized down on. I don't know what it is about this dress versus the others. It felt rather large on me and I really wish I went down to a size small. Apart from that, I absolutely love it. She retails for about $42.99 last time I checked, although I just have noticed the pricing has gone down because they're having a sale. Always happens, that's okay. Which I think is a great bargain for someone looking for something in the style. I like how they have a little bit more 1940s versus 1950s style for those wanting a different era to sort of toy and play with. Whew, that was a lot of dresses to get through. But overall thoughts. I have really put these companies under the microscope. I have tried my best to research where everything comes from. They are made in China, but I have looked high and low. And from what I can tell, these are their own designs. They haven't ripped off anybody else, which is always a plus because it's just really not cool to take somebody else's work and pass it off as your own. So I'm really hoping that if that's something important to you, that it stands out. I am sorry if I am speaking a little bit quick. I just think I'm panicking having six dresses to review in one video and also try and tell people to shop wisely because as we know, fast fashion is really damaging to the environment and the people that are involved in the industry. So we need to be mindful of how much clothing we purchase. But I think for the price and the quality of these ones, it's pretty good. I see them lasting quite a while. So I would recommend both of these sellers to you if you are a pinup on a budget and wanting something a little bit more wallet friendly, but also something that stands out beautifully. And I think that is everything. If there is something that I've missed, I probably covered it in my blog. I went into quite a lot of detail about each dress and each company themselves. If you want to read a little bit more about who they are and their ethics. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I've loved spending some time with you. I hope you're all happy, healthy, and safe. 
Until then, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you for spending time. Bye.